Fusion family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, bienvenidos. My name is Joanna. Nice to meet you. And please consider subscribing and joining our fantastic Fusion family where we're all about good food and diversity. Today I'm going to be making Vietnamese bun bao. Bun bao essentially are Vietnamese steamed buns. They're a really popular dish in Vietnam. My husband absolutely loves them, but the best part is you can stuff them with anything that you like. I'm just going to be teaching you one variation that I learned from my mother-in-law, but essentially you can stuff them with red beans, uh, mung beans, other kinds of meats, so I'll leave a lot of other alternative ideas down in the description box along with the measurements and the ingredients below. But yeah, enough talking, let's get started. Here are the ingredients I'll be using today. Flour, some lukewarm milk, baking powder, vinegar, salt, dried yeast, sugar, dried woodier mushrooms, dried shiitake mushrooms, boiled eggs, potato starch, sesame oil, oyster sauce, diced carrots, glass noodles, garlic, some shallots. I'm going to be using ground beef. Any kind of ground meat can be used. Mushroom seasoning, char siu seasoning, also known as red pork seasoning. Heat up the milk in the microwave for about 30 seconds. To the lukewarm milk, you're going to add some dry yeast, give it a stir, add some sugar, add vinegar, and stir again. Allow the yeast mixture to sit for five minutes. After five minutes, your yeast mixture should have become foamy. To a mixing bowl, add flour, add sugar, add baking powder, some salt. Mix until combined. Create a well in the center, add some oil, Add the yeast mixture. Knead the dough until it's no longer sticky and has become smooth. You can knead by hand, but if you're using a standing mixture, be sure to use a dough hook. Cover with a damp cloth and place in a warm location. I like to do this in my oven with the light on. Rehydrate the glass noodles by submerging in hot water for five minutes. Drain the water, rinse with cold water, drain well and set aside. Rehydrate the dried woodier mushrooms and the dried shiitake mushrooms by submerging in hot water for 15 minutes. Drain the water, rinse with cold water, drain well and set aside. To a food processor, add the rehydrated mushrooms, the glass noodles, some shallot, about an inch in width and a quarter of an inch thick, some garlic cloves, cover and process until well minced. To a large mixing bowl, add the ground meat, the minced noodle and mushroom mixture, diced carrots, mushroom seasoning, red pork seasoning, sesame oil, oyster sauce, potato starch, and mix until well combined. Marinate for at least 30 minutes. Cut two Chinese sausages thinly on the diagonal and set aside. Then cut the hard-boiled eggs in half and set aside. After an hour, the dough should have doubled in size. With clean hands, knead any excess air out. Transfer to a clean working surface and shape into a log form. Divide the dough into eight even pieces. Take one section and knead into a ball by tucking in the sides at the bottom. Set aside and do the same for the remaining pieces. Cover with a damp cloth so the dough can rise a second time. On a clean working surface, sprinkle some flour and take one dough ball and begin rolling it out. It helps to start from the center and push outward and then turn the dough using your opposite hand. The center should be thicker and the edges a lot thinner. Now you're ready to begin assembling the buns. Start by scooping some of the meat filling mixture onto the center of the dough. Place half of a boiled egg on top. Then place some of the Chinese sausages around the meat mixture. To close the bun, begin by pulling up a side of the dough edge and begin pitching it closed. Then pinch the collected edges together and twist closed. It doesn't have to be perfect, I know mine aren't. Now place the buns on top of parchment paper cut to size or you can use cupcake liners like I am. If you have a bun that can't close, just turn it over with the smooth side up and that works fine too. For really fluffy steamed buns, allow the dough to rise a third time for 15 minutes under a damp cloth one last time. If you don't have a steamer, you can make your own using a wok or deep pan. Begin by placing a small bowl inside the wok. Fill with water enough to come up the sides of the small bowl. I like to fill the small bowl with water as well. Place a plate on top. Now place the buns on top of the plate. Be sure to not put them too close to each other. Cover, but be sure the lid is wrapped with some kind of food safe cloth to avoid water ruining the buns during the steaming process. If you have a bamboo steamer, place your buns inside making sure it doesn't touch the edges of the steamer. Now cover, and again, be sure the lid is wrapped with a cloth. Place the bamboo steamer over a pot filled about halfway with water. Make sure the steamer fits snugly on top of the pot. That's really important. Now steam the buns over medium heat, set a timer for 25 minutes, and that's it. You can enjoy these on their own or as part of a meal as shown here. The meat filling is tender and full of flavor while the buns have a nice fluffy texture. You like it? Yes. As good as your mom? Yes. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to join our fantastic fusion family. Like always, I'm sending you off with a un beso enorme, se me cuida, and I'll see you guys next time. Suerte!